This video is going to show you how to measure the size of an object in a photograph. To begin with, you have to know a second object in the photograph and its size. So to begin with, let's talk about changing the camera view, something that looks flat instead of 3D. So what I'm going to do is go to the top of the menu where it says camera and go down to where it says standard views and choose top. Then I'm going to go back to the camera menu, go down to where it says parallel projection. So now it looks like a flat surface. Time to import the image. So I'm going to go to file and go down to where it says import. And it's got all these different file types. So I choose, chose all supported types and I'll find my image. So here's my image. Then I'm going to click down here on the corner once and then I can scale it to anything I want to just to see. So I'll just do it like this. The bigger the image is, the better your precision will be. But I'll make this this size to fit on the screen. Now I need to change my units to meters. So I'm going to Window, Model Info, and then where it says Measurement Units, Format says Architectural right now. I'm going to switch that to Decimal and select Meters, which has already been selected from a previous thing that I did. Precision, I'm going to make it a little less precise. And Enable Length Snapping, I'm going to get rid of that. That's going to help me to adjust my lengths. Now I'll close this little dialog box. Select the tape measure at the top of the screen, and I'll click on the bottom of my known length, so I know that this blue object, blue box, is two meters high. I'll click on the bottom, and then I'll go all the way up to the top, and click on that. And then the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, there's a little box that says length, and right now it looks blank, but it keeps that last measurement I just made. I'm going to click in the box, and I'm going to type 2.00m, m for meters. When I hit return, it's going to ask me if I want to rescale my model, and I do. So I'll click yes, and then it will scale it for me. And now I can find the length, the scaled length of anything in this model. So let's, let's say I want to find the height of the red box. I can take my tape measure of the diamond, put it on the top of the red box, being as precise as I can, and go down to the bottom of the red box. I'm just dragging the whole time to the bottom, and I can see that this red box in this scaled image is 0.446 meters. Uh, it just disappeared, but it's 0.446 meters right there to the bottom. I could also measure the width if I wanted to. 